Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the fourth season of Gem City Gridiron Roundup Podcast. I am your host, as always, Dalton Van Pelt Scotch on the sidelines, the champ. We start our day all right. Every day I wake up, brush my teeth, I kiss the trophy, I go to work. That's nothing else. Why. Also, I have some dude who's you know, also in the screen, he won a couple championships. His name is something. Saquon Barkley just caught a one-handed pass for a first down. Giants driving down the field. There's a flag, 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 flag. There's a flag holding, most likely based on uh, the reaction of all I'm the players. Thinking, I'm thinking okay. illegal man downfield. Zach had to go to work uh, uh, tonight. Why is that, sir? Ineligible downfield. I was right. Um, oh. So last week, um, we had an incident at the men's fall softball league where there was a player ejected, would not leave. Uh, umpires repeatedly asked him. He was just being mouthy, and they just ended up tossing him. Um, would not leave. Supervisor told him to leave, would not leave. Um, claimed he had given you know a couple of teammates a ride, and our supervisor gave him two options. You can either... You can leave and come back and pick them up, or you can go sit in your car and be quiet. So um, he left for a little bit, came back in, um, started causing some ruckus. So my supervisor called the cops on him. Um, another sack. Um, and they escorted him out of the facility peacefully. Um, but I went this week just to make sure he would not show up again because by rule... When you are ejected from a game, you are suspended for the next two games. And then I tacked on two more games for the um, disruption of said evening um, and verbally assaulting staff and having him not follow the rules. So he's done for the season. We only have four more, three, three. They, they only have three more nights left. Their team is terrible. So um, instead of four. Um, but so I went there tonight, just tonight, just to make sure that guy did not show up. Um, cause if he was, if he did show up, um, we would call the cops again and then we would, uh, have the, uh, the officer, Authority. the officer or officers cite him for trespassing, but he did not show up. So we, I was able to come home early and scarf down some dinner and jump on the podcast. All right, so all right, all right. that's a day in the life of a real life commish handed down. Four game suspensions. Um, luckily, you've never had to do that in our league, although no. there was an incident that was pretty close. I don't remember exactly what it was, but. Yeah, I don't know. Matt there was some you. contract detriment to the to the league. Contract. Conduct. Conduct sorry. detrimental. Conduct detrimental to the league. Yeah, but well, needless good. to say, good to go. Good job, Walmart. Some uh, bourbon cherries. Yeah, Walmart has uh, cocktail cherries. Who I did not thunk? know that until tonight. Cheers. Cheers. Wild Turkey 101 tonight. Um, Yellowstone bourbon. Into an old fashioned. Nice. Okay. All right. Garbage primetime game number one. Of these three. <laughs> I was telling Dalton before. I was telling Dalton before the podcast, man. The NFL has blessed us with some terrible primetime games this week. We had Jacoby Brissett versus Mitchell Trubisky, and then we had the punt fest last night. I believe fifteen or seventeen punts last night in the game. Um, it was, uh, and then the Broncos won on top of it. It was just terrible. And then now they bless us with a Daniel Jones versus Cooper Rush game that is 6-3 and almost halfway through the third quarter. So, man, what a – I can't wait till late season primetime where they can start flexing games because this is I, – I wish the NFL had po the power to just, like, swap games immediately. <laughs> but it is what it is. So this is how tight um, my – Week three is coming down to right now. I'm just going to fill you guys in. Oh, we're going to jump to that now? Um, I have two leagues, not like Zach, who has like 97. 51 yard uh, lining up. Kickers. Um, 
Rolling stuff. Good. Barely. Six to six. Barn burner. Six to six. Um, so in my work league, I have CD Lamb, Zeke, and Brett Maher going up against Sterling Shepard. I'm currently down um just under four points. You got that. I think so. We'll see. We'll see what happens on the Dallas offense when they come back out. Obviously, I have a lot more buy-in now that it's uh, you know a Dallas Monday night game while we're recording this, so I'm probably going to be rather distracted. I'm also down <laughs> seven points in our league to sack it. I'm still projected to win, so we'll see how that goes. Jumping ahead. Jumping ahead. Points, excuse me. Okay. Um, first sh- shellacking by the Browns. I did not expect that. Um, I'm a betting man, and I was thinking about taking the Steelers because the line was so juicy. Yeah, it was weird. It was like a five-point. Steelers are five-point dogs. Dogs. So, but man, they are bad, but man, that George Pickens catch, whew, nasty. Like even like Odell was like, oh man, that, that might be better than my catch. Um, that was super nasty. And full to Instagram for showing me that. Cause I did not watch a second of this game. And there, um, like Deontay's had some wild catches. Pickens had that crazy catch. Claypool's had a crazy catch. They're all crazy catches. Because Mitchell Trubisky can't get the ball out. So um, I do not believe they will be benching Trubisky anytime soon. Um, Tomlin's a very patient guy. He's not going to throw more weeks. They'll be, they, they're going to have to be out of playoff contention. That's, uh, oh, for Pickett? For Pickett to get in. Um, what about uh, Rudolph? I could see them going to Rudolph first. I know, like, he's behind them in the depth chart, but I think it's Trubisky. They, they, they did pay him. They brought him in. Um, I do think it will be Pickett at some point this year, but not until they're out of the playoffs. Tomlin's not benching a guy who they just brought in, paid, you know, a decent amount of money, and also voted team captain and bench him. They're not, they're not going to do it. So... Uh, I, I'm a more of a fan of baseball these days, and like analytically speaking, who cares? Team com- camaraderie, man. I mean, it matters in the NFL, and it just does not matter in every other sport. No, it, it, you can't lose the locker. I mean, you can't lose the the locker room. But Tomlin, he's a player's coach. But I mean, I don't see him taking away Trubisky for the time being. I mean, they've been decent. I mean, the first two weeks they were in the games. I mean, they beat obviously the Bengals and then um, lost a close one to the Patriots. But, I mean, he's not going to panic right now. They're one and two. Um, But I know everyone that's a Steelers fan and fantasy managers, they want to see Kenny Pickett. I mean, you know, you get drafted in the first round. You know, it's kind of expected you to play at some point your rookie season, um, whether it's via injury or like right off the bat. I mean, it doesn't always work out that way. Um, Deontay Johnson continues uh, with a good game. It really doesn't matter who the quarterback is. He's going to put up targets. Too bad Um, he didn't get the touchdown. Yeah. Um, He recovered the touchdown. Oh, did he? Yeah. You don't get the points for that, though. Amari Cooper. Back to back uh, weeks. weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. Uh, and finally, David and David and Joku shows up. Yeah, David and Joku. They Pittsburgh gets torched by tight ends. It's crazy. Like it's been going back to since the Gronk days oh, really? in in Tampa Bay or in uh, New England. Um, they just get torched. I don't know. I don't know how, but they get torched by the the tight ends in the middle of the field. And and Joku lit them up. Nine catches for quite a nine for ninety and a TD roughly. Um, yeah, crazy. Uh, Nick Chubb, uh, might be one of the, he's probably the best pure rusher in the NFL. Um, he's just so good. Yeah, I forgot to check his line yet. 23 for 113, a touchdown, one target, zero catches. Cooper Rush just airing it out for CD Lamb. Great coverage, uh, by number 29. I'm not sure who that is for the Giants. I don't care. Uh, Carolina finally does something, beats the Saints. Um, the Saints just don't play football in the first half. Um, 
It doesn't matter who their opponent is. Their opponent doesn't show up for the first half either, based on what I've seen so far. Uh, Jameis with the two interception day back to his old ways. Kamara is a little ineffective, but does get a lot of touches. Chris Olave coming out party. Um, Jameis, he's probably just slinging it all the way down the field, if I had to guess. Is that fair? Yeah. Another Cooper Rush sling down. Oh, nope. Oh, Um, just outside of his fingertips. That looked like a combine pass. Um, yeah, uh, it's really weird. The the Panthers are not very good. Is Baker going to get benched? I mean, no. God, he's, he's like, Digging he, DJ Moore to a grave. Look like, at the quarterback terrible. rating. He had a better game than Jameis, so I don't want to hear it. Oh, it's terrible. His quarterback rating goes up because he threw a, a 70 yard, like, hitch or not a hitch, but like a wide receiver 60, screen. 67 to LaVisca Chenault. LaVisca Chenault, a wide receiver screen, and takes it to the house. And then he also has Robbie Anderson, a deep shot. But there's times he's just, it's, overthrow city or underthrow he can't and then man this christian mccaffrey usage is so weird like they're not throwing him the ball but they're giving him 25 carries it's weird um but hopefully you can turn it around i mean i don't think they'll go to sam darnold but he's not playing great but he's playing okay um they got their win, but the Saints, uh, Michael Thomas and Jarvis Landry both exited the game with an uh, an injury. So obviously that's the Olave coming out party. But Olave looked great last week. Um, he just didn't catch any of the deep deep targets. He had over 300 air yards last week. Um, so Jameis is targeting him deep, and we know we know what famous Jameis likes to do, and that's a uh, throw throw the ball. Um, so yeah, the Saints are going to be hit and miss sometimes, but. It's great for fantasy that if, whether they're down or they're up, they're going to um, produce fantasy numbers. So, is it basically like the Blaine Gabbert Jacksonville Jaguars this year, but for the Saints? Don't you dare compare Blaine Gabbert to Jameis Winston. Jameis. That is that's an uh, insult. Uh, the Bears take care of business in Houston. No, it was in Chicago, excuse me, uh, Soldier Field. They did wear their throwbacks. Um, oh my gosh, Justin fields is absolute garbage i uh david montgomery does get hurt in this play on the first series Mm -hmm. and khalil herbert has his coming out party has looked good all season and now he gets his time to shine yeah khalil herbert um was great last year um in the time that david montgomery missed um nothing new there um and that's what running backs do against the texans they can't they can't stop the run um so khalil herbert big day um no definitive word on David Montgomery yet. They said he's day to day. He may not miss this week. So uh, just something to monitor for David Montgomery and Khalil Herbert managers. But yeah, um, Khalil Herbert, he's good. He, he, he's almost, do I dare say, the equivalent of Alexander Madison, plug and play RB1 slash RB2. Yes. Um, nowhere near as good as Alexander Madison, but Fifth touchdown. Um... Upside. Upside that, that's because the Bears just run the ball. They don't want to throw it. So, well, yeah. Um, if, if your quarterback went for eight or 17 for 106 yards and two interceptions with 27.7 quarterback yeah. rating, you wouldn't want to throw the ball either. I think I saw a stat that Cooper Cup has more catches than, um, and I think he has more Wilson catches. Has attempts. Yes. Something like that. Or completions. Or compl- yeah, it might be completions. It's going to be completions because. He, uh, Justin Fields only had eight completions in the last game. Uh, Justin Fields has uh, – he had eight completions in week one. He had seven in week two and eight in week three. Yeah, Cooper Cup's got more than 23. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. That, that's just absolutely that's wild. Math by you. Proud of you. <clears throat> um, Damian Pierce coming out party, so that's good. Yep, you're finally getting all the all the work. Um, Rex Burkhead back to just like that utility Swiss Army he, knife he, role. He did get some catches, which doesn't help the owners yeah, of it. That's that's gonna take a look. Dan, Danny Dimes running again. Ooh, yeah, that's a late hit. That's a late hit. Rushing? There it is. That's a late hit. Is it 50 yards rushing? At least that's a late hit. Yep. If I can look it up. Um I Sterling right. Shepard getting into it with the linebackers. <laughs> 
<laughs> Moving on to Colts Chiefs, I believe this was it's either Patrick Mahomes' second or first loss in September. Yeah, he's he's definitely Mr. September does not lose much in September. Um, weird game with yeah, the opening the opening uh drive was a three and out by the Colts. The Colts punted it. Sky Moore muffed it. Colts recovered in the red zone and scored a touchdown to start the game. Yeah, and uh, my favorite stat line, Clyde edwards Hilaire, seven carries, zero yards, and one touchdown. <laughs> and then he yeah, caught I like five for 39. Five for 39. So he's, he, he saves his day. <laughs> yeah, what, what was his long carry? Four. And then Isaiah Pacheco, I, I was listening to this on the podcast. So that's why the numbers are so fresh. Um, Isaiah Pacheco, you know, out, out clipped him three carries for two yards. I mean, no, he had nine. Isaiah Pacheco had nine yards? Nine yards. Oh, and they must have. He had a long of five, so he passed him by one. On oh, okay. long run. I thought he had three for two. Or He or, also had a fumble. Oh, okay. So he might have lost like team yardage or something. I don't know. But. Yeah, seven carries, zero yards, but he does crawl into the end zone for that touchdown. Tommy Townsend had a pass attempt for the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, Jonathan Taylor got fed the ball like crazy again, but really didn't do much with it. Michael Pittman Jr. looks insanely strong coming back. Yep. A lot of production uh, yeah. in the fourth quarter for him, but still, production is oh, production. Was it garbage time? Well, not garbage yeah. time, but it was ceiling. Game yeah, game no, they were down. Uh, the Colts scored within the last oh, like oh, 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 minute and a half. Right. Yeah, yep, yeah. So Danny Dimes to whoever number thirteen is Sills, David Sills, Kenny Sills, David Sills. It's probably Kenny. David David Sills the fifth. No, that, it's not. That's not Kenny Stills. No, it's not Kenny Stills. It's Sills. Sills the fifth. Never heard of her. Okay. <laughs> Rams take care of business. Hey, he's playing ahead of my beloved Kenny Galladay. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny's dead. Here comes yeah. uh, Saquon with big cuts, big tackle. Okay, Rams take care of business against the Cardinals. Um, uh, Fired Cliff. Fired Cliff. Really? Why? God, he, he's it's so vanilla, his offense. 37 for 58 for 314 and zero yeah. touchdowns for Kyler Murray. But he threw like 12 times in the first half. They're so vanilla. They don't use any motion. They don't use any – like they just snap the ball and it's just – it's well, so weird. Like the, he doesn't it's, give it's Kyler a chance. Raid. It's a horizontal raid. <laughs> it's it's like they don't throw it deep. It's all check downs. Like they don't get deep. You have one of the best deep receivers in the NFL in Hollywood Brown and you're – Supplementing him to what 14 for 140, which is still a great game, or 12 for 140. But it just 14. And Saquon Barkley. Yeah. Fun, fun Touchdown, fact. Touchdown, Saquon. Brian Dayball thinks that Daniel Bellinger is a better pass catcher than Kenny Galladay. Daniel Bellinger is good. Better pass catcher. 36 Kenny yard Kenny touchdown run for yeah. Saquon Barkley. Did you see? Um, did you read that guy's lips? No. He's like this. Bullshit. Bullshit. But yeah. Marcus <laughs> Brown and the last week of the Dorch. Uh, Dorch. Zach Hertz Greg is Dorch. The number two or number three target in that offense. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen with Rondo Moore coming back. A lot of people are saying like Greg Dorch, Dorch is showing. Is I don't know, man. Like that. Like it's hard. Like. I said that last week too, but um, Rondell Moore didn't come back. But he's just more talented, so that's why people are saying that. Yeah, but there's been plenty of times where a talented player misses time for injury, and they just Saquon's don't get the job so back. back. That <sighs> run was so nice. nasty, nasty. He is back, and he does the Ryan Tannehill flick. Yeah, yeah, great. Um. Rams took care of business. Cam Akers gets the touchdown. Cooper Cup has a rushing touchdown. Cooper Cup uh, dropped was, a touchdown. Too. Yeah, he did. Uh, it bounced off his hand. That, that was a really nasty route, and he just couldn't haul it in. Um, 
for some reason, uh, the Monday night game or the Sunday night game is next in order on uh, Pro Football Reference. So we'll just touch on that. I watched zero minutes of this game. This game okay. was ended with a uh, a, a safety was the defining deciding factor in points. Yes, Melvin Gordon scores the game winning touchdown. Um, I've never have I heard so many boos in Denver for the home team. It like it was. I couldn't believe it. I was watching the game and I'm like, wow, they're actually booing the team. Like what they they might fire him. Tell you about <laughs> Russell Wilson. I wrote. I so I went back and rewatched the preseason episode. And I went through all the bets that we had during that. Like we did the under overs for the season. And I, and we also laid out the uh, ASC West, what we thought would be. And I put a note in yours and it says, I timestamped it. It says, (laughs) Dalton says, what if Pete Carroll was right? (laughs) What if Pete Carroll was right? And of course he threw a little shade this uh, two weeks ago. He's like, maybe we'll let, you know, you know, cook a little bit. Like, <laughs> Did he really? Oh man, it's so oh, great. Like it. Or, or it might have just, or, old man. or it might have just been like the, the Seattle media or something. But, but Gino threw it like forty-four times <laughs> uh, against the Falcons. And I, oh man, it was, it's, it's so funny. Maybe Pete was right. Jimmy G. But yeah, um, Jimmy G. Steps out of the back, him. steps out of the back of the end zone for uh, the safety. Jeff Wilson. Looks effective. I benched him. Um, I didn't. I didn't expect him to. Uh, it's a tough matchup against the Broncos defense um, for running backs. It, it will be all season, but uh, I should have known the game script. Oh well. Right now, you catch the touchdown from Jimmy G. Um, Another shootout. This time in U.S. Bank Stadium. Between the Lions and the Vikings, the Lions just keep getting in these shootouts every freaking week. What I tell you, like they're just so fun to watch. They're going to score it, points. It, it was super fun. They kept breaking that game on the red zone. It's just back and forth the whole cool. time. And we had talked about last week. What, what would you know? What would the game line be for Bills Lions? We said fifty five last week. Shoot, it might be sixty now. Like <laughs> they just keep scoring. Uh, let's see. 52 points scored between oh, Barkley Barkley hit over 20 miles per hour on that run. That makes sense. Wow. Hey, look, there's Daniel Bellinger, uh, confirmed better pass catcher than Kenny Galladay. Yes, he is. Uh, DeAndre Swift, uh, had kind of a quiet day. Yeah, he got banged uh, up with the like shoulder injury. Point six. Jamal Williams keeps scoring touchdowns. That's all he does. Looks like he carried the load in the second half as well. Uh, Dalvin Cook with a decent day. Cooper Crush, Cooper Rush under pressure gets it to CD Lamb for the first down. You know we like that. That's probably three points for your boy. Your boy. And where does where does that put us now? Hey, I'm, I'm playing, playing Cooper Rush in a league today. A little over three points. Oh, you are in my super flex league. Did I, did I tell you about that super flex league? Um, my starting two quarterbacks were Dak Prescott. Trey Lance. Oh, yeah. You told me about this. So, my starting two quarterbacks this week are Cooper Rush, Marcus Mariota. And I'm winning this week. But I got out, I got outbid on Jimmy Garoppolo last week, and it fried me. I Just wanted a rush by Zeke Elliott. I wanted – in that league, I needed Jimmy Garoppolo so bad. So, this is a $100 waiver budget. So not like ours is a thousand, same percentages, all that sort of stuff, hundred dollars, same, but it also allows you to pick up players after the fact, um, for zero dollars or for, um, or after the fact, I, I hadn't spent any of my waiver budget yet. I bid $87 on Jimmy Garoppolo. I did not get him. Someone bet $100. I was I rate at these labors run at 11, uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. I went and checked and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. That's insane. Cause th- it's, it's a weird league. Like it's, you get points for completions and then negatives for incompletion. So you need good, you know, completion percentage guys as well. Um, and I was so irate. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. How 
I bet $87 and this guy bet a hundred. I was like, whatever, but either way, the, the Niners and that oh, the Broncos are uh, super, flex. super flex. Yeah. What I, I told you that Leonard Williams has been in the league for eight seasons. I believe you. I had no idea. I thought he had been in the league for like three seasons. <coughs> I, just, I just took the league. I took the lead in my uh, work league. Good for you. I need one more point to take the lead over Sackett. And that's not it. Uh-huh. But um, they're moving the ball. Was Dalton Schultz in inactive tonight? I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I didn't check he inactive. Did Let I. me uh, pull up NBC Sports Edge. Um, I went to a barbecue uh, right. before this, nice. so I wasn't really paying attention. Um, I'm in a less lethal training, so I get to learn how to spray people and stuff. Ooh. Dalton Schultz was an inactive. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, moving on to Baltimore, New England. Um, I think we should start a new segment where we do our lock of the week on spreads. Oh, I just, I just, Noah Brown. No, that is Noah Brown, or I don't know who number it's Noah Brown. Sorry. Um. Oh, that's eighty-five. Um. No. This was my lock of the week: Ravens mm-hmm. over the Patriots. Are you going to lock of the week? You get the spread. Oh, spread. Okay. With the spread. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Lamar Jackson with just the absolute massive day, 100 yards on the ground. With He did have that big, long rush uh, for the touchdown. He looked super explosive on that. J.K. Dobbins gets mixed back in, but doesn't yep. really do much with it. Mark First game Andrews back in. With a nice, nice one-handed catch, two touch, two tutties. Two tutties. Uh, Devontae Parker. Okay. A, so- a sighting of... All five of his catches went for 20 plus yards. Okay, Devontae. That's new. Uh like that's unfortunately like, Matt- he went zero for zero last week. And and he had his he was smacking his lips saying, Man, Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle burn these guys. Why can't I do it? <laughs> They're gonna give Zeke a one yard plunge right here. Uh Damian Harris and Ramondre Stevenson split work. Uh, Ramondre was more effective in this match. Mac Jones does get injured on the very last play of the game. It did come out just before at uh, halftime. Severe, game, it's severe high, high sprain. severe high ankle like, sprain. Probably four weeks. Uh, I'm thinking, yes, yeah, si- yeah, four to six. So who is oh, it? Wait, Stidham? Wait, wait, it's not uh, still Stidham, uh, is it? Can you name the two backup quarterbacks? There's a Zeke touchdown. Yes. Yes. Sorry, Cody. Um, so can you the- name can you name the two backup quarterbacks on the Patriots? Hey, did you know? Uh, one second. Did you know that there was a Saquon plus one hundred for a touchdown and a Zeke plus one hundred for a touchdown on DraftKings special tonight? That if you had bet on both of those, you would have won. That's a good bet. Unofficial sponsor. Um, so you, you would have just quadrupled your money had you took had you well could you parlay that? I guess you might be able to because they have the S uh same game parlay X now. Mm. Well, I guess it would just be a same game parlay, but it probably wouldn't have the boost. Anyway. <clears throat> um who is the number two? It is not Jared Stidham. He is not on the Patriots anymore. Ryan Mallet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Still in the league. Is it Hoyer? It is Hoyer. And then uh, there, the third string is a rookie named Bailey Zappi. Bailey Zappi is the other quarterback. That's a quarterback name if I've ever heard of Yeah, one. Bailey Zappi. But it is Brian Hoyer. <laughs> like, you, you can't write this stuff, man. Cincinnati 27, New York Jets 12, first game where Joe Flacco actually looked at his age. Um, He's thrown over 50 times, all three games. Yeah, Brees Hall, 11 targets, six catches, 53 yards. He's uh, He's got, like, elite wide receiver target share right now. Um, Garrett Wilson 
for the nice game again. Ends up only being 12 points. Probably should have been more. Yeah, he got he got taken out with a rib injury because um, Flacco was throwing some hospital passes out there. Um, but he came back. Touchdown saves Jamar Chase's day. Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins, all with good days. Uh, Joe Mixon didn't really do much. Samaj P. Ryan spells him for the touchdown in the first quarter. Yeah, um, thought this game was going to pop, but it did not. Um, Elijah Moore had 10 targets, so he's getting the target looks. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens when um, Zach Wilson potentially comes back this week. It'll be a lot of um, more again. Well, I don't know. Garrett Wilson looks pretty good too, but I mean, equal target share for the two of them. Um, it's it's hard to say. It will be Zach Wilson next week. Yeah, and they play Pittsburgh. He did love Elijah Moore last year, but that was before Garrett Wilson was the thing. Yeah, I'm hoping. I need some Elijah Moore luck. Great and targets is nothing. Just need in that. Tennessee at Nissan <laughs> Stadium. Titans 24, Raiders 22. Raiders are officially eliminated from the AFC West at 0 and 3. You heard it here. Only two games back. You heard it here first. Okay. No team who starts 0 and 3 wins the division. It does it just doesn't happen. Uh Derrick Henry gets back on track with the touchdown. He does have five receptions. Although if you watched a highlight of one of his catches out of the backfield, you're I don't know how he caught five catches. Uh, he was the second leading uh, receiver beside behind Bobby Trees. Mac Bobby. Collins with the huge day. It seems like teams are just deciding that uh, we're just going to double Devontae Adams and someone else is going to have to beat us. Yeah, and Hunter Renfro was out with concussion, so that, that yep. frees up some targets. I'm surprised it was not a bigger Darren Waller game. For but, Foster Moreau. Yeah, um, they each got a little bit of their run, but Mac Collins, man, they are. Going crazy. Crazy for Mac Collins. Eagle? Uh, Dolphin. I think he played for the Dolphins last year. Hmm. I'll look it up. Right. He uh, was an Eagle, too, though. Okay. In 2019. We're right, both okay. right. We're, we're both right. When does that happen? Um, <laughs> Jacksonville, 38. Chargers 10. Uh, basically, the Chargers should just have sat Justin Herbert. Yeah, he was not looking like himself. He did gut it out. Um, but if you watch the eye test, um, is all you need to know in this one. He just he looked stiff, he looked like he was in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Um, Austin Eckler does get oh my god, they had 26 rushing yards in this game. The Chargers did. That is disgusting. Yeah. I mean, you're losing two. It's tough. Um, Josh Palmer has a nice day. That's mm -hmm. good to see. Zay Jones was with the random huge day. Uh, Christian Kirk saves his day with, well, I wouldn't say he saves his day with the touchdown, but the touchdown makes it a, a, a nice day. Uh, James, James Robinson, Robinson Travis, man. He and timeshare is still looking good. James Robinson basically just breaks off all these long runs. That, yeah, uh, James Robinson's getting the touchdowns. That That's the big difference. ETN still had like 10 and a half points. Robinson yeah, had 20. Yeah, so one's going to have the touchdowns. One's going to have the targets. Yeah, crazy. Um, Robinson looks good, man. Did not think he'd look this good, this short off of Achilles surgery. Um, but good for him, man. More power to him. Geno Smith and Marcus Mariota duel it out. Uh, Mariota was stymied uh, in the pocket, but he does get the breakaway touchdown run when he escapes the pocket. Cordero Patterson is all of a sudden a workhorse back. 17 rushes for 141 yards and a touchdown. Um, Drake London with a nice catch. Kyle Pitts gets work backed into it after everyone makes their pleas. Uh, Tyler Lockett. Do you see what uh, Dan um... – what Arthur Smith Smith said last week after everyone asked about Kyle Pitts usage. Mm. He's like, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win real football games, not fantasy football. And what does he do? The first possession, he throws it to him like four freaking times. Yeah, you know how you win games? Do you throw it to your best player? Sorry. Exactly. That. That's how you win football games. Congratulations. Um, Kind of a, just a super old man game. 
in Raymond James Stadium. Uh, Green Bay Packers 14, Buccaneers 12. Uh, the Bucks actually had a chance to tie this on the last play of the game was a two-point conversion attempt, and they did not get it. The Packers secondary actually played pretty well. Um, both teams were – they had zero options. Yeah, they're – For Russell Gage for the Bucks and Romeo Dobbs. Romeo Dobbs. Pack- um, yeah, the Buccaneers receiving core was downright atrocious. Um, Julio, oh, not Julio. Perriman sighting. Prashard Perriman and a Cole Beasley sighting, mm-hmm. um, signed on like Wednesday, elevated to the active squad for Sunday. Um, but yeah, um, just slop fest. It wasn't, wasn't great to watch. They didn't really cut to the same for whole bunch. the last couple of drives. The first drive for the Packers, and then the last, yeah, like last 15, the last quarter. Um, I think I'm officially off of the commanders. I uh, had some some hopes for them to uh, win some games and shock some people, but uh, the Eagles are better than we expected. The Eagles are going to be the division champ due to the deck injury. That don't you even dare. That is not the only reason. I didn't I, really believe in the Eagles this year, but watching them play, it's it's pretty impressive. I'll uh I have they, I have they, the they only scored all their points in the second quarter, though. I do have so I did watch that preseason episode and I went back through. We did all the under overs for all the teams. You did bet on all of them. Yes. Um, but there were about six we disagreed on. So I will. Um, mentioned that, and one of them was the Eagles. I ha- probably had the under. Yeah, you did. And it was like I didn't believe it was like eight, it was like eight and a half. But we'll I get to it that. Was gonna be a slop fest in the NFC East, except for the Cowboys. You always believe that. That's that's a true no, cow. That's a true I, Cowboys fan, though. I mean, just, uh, just lean into it. If you're a true Cowboys fan, you're always gonna believe that that the Cowboys are gonna win. And hey. I even took the the Steelers under man, and it was seven and a half. Like there, Steelers under two. Yeah, and I even I mentioned um, on I, that pop, I even said this was, sorry. and then I chose the Ravens to win that division, which wasn't that hard to choose. I guess it was between the Ravens and the Bengals, but um, yeah, but yeah. That, that that's one of the disagreements was the Eagles. Okay, um, what do we got? For this game, Carson Wentz was stymied a little bit. At, um, just watching some of the highlights, it didn't seem like too many people were willing to catch the ball today uh, or that day. Curtis Samuel and Terry McLaurin are the one and two option, and nobody else matters. Yep. Um, Gibson looked pretty good, even though he w- didn't really do much. Yeah, I got the garbage time touchdown at the very end. Uh, Devonta Smith, they worked him into the offense the last two weeks. Uh, this week he really explodes 30 points. That's nice. Um, I actually was on the phone with one of, one of my buddies at work who had a wide receiver dilemma in our other league. And I said, fuck all those other dudes. Oh, look, there's our first explicit. Fuck all those other dudes. Oh, there's more. Uh, play, Devon- <laughs> play Devonta Smith. He's going to go off today. And then he did. There you go. Some good advice from the deputy. Yeah, it happens very seldomly, but when it does. <laughs> Anything else to touch on that game? No, I am going to grab another drink real fast. So what's the next um, game? How about how about we um, talk about the final game, which I have been saving for you that you said you had notes for, and then we can take a break and get another drink. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So what's the, what's the game, Dalton? It's uh, Miami Dolphins 3-0. Buffalo Bills 19. Yeah, man. So the crazy stat of the day. Crazy stat of the day. I'm paying attention. You have my uh, undivided attention. So I believe the average NFL plays per game is in the 60s. Um, Don't quote me on that, but I know it's in the 60s. Per team? Per team. 60 plays per team. The Buffalo Bills ran 90 plays. The Dolphins ran 39. What? 39 plays to 90, which is why the Bills, 
no so it was so hot so hot down there it was like 100 degrees in miami what is the what is the third down conversion rate there so this is what happened <clears throat> so miami had uh one turnover so that they scored on a possession and then the next possession they turned over the bills and it was a short short series um like three plays in a field goal or no they scored three touchdowns but three plays in a touchdown like they turned it over inside the like on their own 20 the bills did and then the bills go in and produce this long massive drive and so like and then the dolphins just had put together like just a couple long drives and that was it and the bills just kept turning the ball over and, <laughs> and then the dolphins had turnovers uh, but yeah 90 to 39 in the play count sheet um, and it was so hot and the bills players there were so many people going out with heat exhaustion and heat cramps um it was so hot and i saw that um the, the dolphins are pretty smart like so like apparently the entire dolphins bench is under shade Whereas the visiting bench is just under the direct sunlight and it's just so hot on that sideline. But I, I couldn't believe that stat when I saw it 90 to 39 and just crazy. The Bills um, made it to third down 18 times and fourth down three times. The Dolphins made it to third down eight times and fourth down zero times. Yeah. Um, attempts that is so that yeah. doesn't include punts but uh the bills went 11 of 18 on third down and two of three and fourth down so that is still a winning formula but going to, not converting first downs before third down is not a way to win games yeah and josh Allen threw for 400 yards and you still can't get it done um uh, there was one scary play uh two got hit pretty hard um they thought it was a concussion he hit his head pretty hard he got up woozy and wobbly and um kind of fell down and then went to the locker room and then they diagnosed it as a um, back injury um so that actually the nfl pa is um actually looking into that thinking that they did not follow concussion protocol um very well but that's neither here nor there but yeah the tyree kill shut down jalen waddle gets loose a few times um but Devin yeah. Singletary with a huge day. Nine catches. Yeah, crazy. Um, no one will get rushing yards in the Bills offense, which means that Zach Moss and James Cook are useless once again this year. Yeah, Josh Allen's RB1. Yeah, we, I mean, we already knew that. Um, and with that, uh, this is a break. Zach, we are re-refreshed. Uh, CD's down at the half yard line for sure. For sure, give it to him again. Well, they put it all the way back at the one. Okay, let's talk about the matchups that mattered. Perfect timing to cut to the break because I have. That's a C Lamb touchdown, and that's what we're going crazy for. Oh my gosh, <laughs> nasty. I said, give, I said, give it back to live. Him. So this is why you give Takes it to him again. Helmet off. Oh my gosh! Let's watch the replay. A little push. One off. hand, push. left hand. Yeah, he, that's a veteran push off. He pushed off. Ooh, that was perfect. Okay, he, you see, you remember that commercial with the eighty eights? This is why he's got that number. He only had. He oh could only go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you, CD. Okay, and with that, that um, I was able to pass Sackett um, on Monday Night Football. Uh, I didn't need a miracle. I just needed some production. Um, CD Lamb goes for 22.7, outscores Romeo Dobbs, and now I don't feel bad about sitting uh, Romeo Dobbs. And Zeke scores 13.5. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, you played um, Devontae Smith? Wow, I didn't even, I hadn't even looked at your match. Oh, yeah, I played Devontae Smith. Um, nice. Sackett went with the Uber stack against me um, when I was supposed to be the team with the Uber stack. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to play that Uber stack. Yeah, he played the, uh, the, the Bengals. Yeah, he played the Chase Higgins Burrow, Burrow. which actually turned out pretty good. Um, but I, I knew um, when Higgins didn't catch that touchdown that I had a really good shot to beat him. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, um, 
So that they that are, that is like, the um that is a bowl game. Hey, I finally got a win. It's Only like three more. to ten. Yeah, he's got you pretty good. Another bowl game, um, the beer in your eye game. Myself and Blaster, I take down Blaster once again, and it's he, good for you. You you needed a win. Yep, because we're two and one. So need that. Um, what was the deciding? It was the uh, Garoppolo to Ayuk for twenty yards. That was the deciding. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, because we, I was up just a few points, and I had Ayuk, and he had Judy McManus, and I was able to pull that out between the both of them. Um, nice. Well, so um, the only tough decision I was debating was Palmer or Ayuk. It works out both ways. Only it cost me three points. So. In the battle of people who never like to show up to the draft, Cole takes down Heath, one eleven to eighty seven. Very low scoring matchup. Yes, very low scoring game. Not a whole lot on the benches. Um, yeah, just a real low scoring game this this week. A lot of teams low scoring as well. Yeah, but Cole Dark moves horse. Cole moves to three and zero. Oh, yep, and uh, Heath down to one and two. Dark Horse sends Patrick into a spiral down to 0 and 3, um, sitting there with Sackett staring at a long road. Yeah, uh, um, two two champs sitting at 0 and 3. Uh, Dark Horse, big uh, game, but that's thanks to Lamar and Lamar Andrews Mark stack. Andrews and Lazard and Metcalf. It just Dorch. basically everybody's Greg Dorch. Played Greg Dorch. Yeah, got to. One for maybe one more week. Um, another high scoring matchup, yeah. In the Brink Bowl, uh, not the Stuart Brink Bowl, Brinkman, yeah, no, oh no, sorry, against Drew. Uh, they brought him in, he's part of the, the Brinkman family in uh, fantasy, yeah. Uh, Drew puts up a good game, nothing to sneeze yeah, at. Drew, Drew was looking pretty unstoppable, um. Even when when the game fired up, I'm pretty sure Drew was projected to win the last time I looked at this matchup. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Brinkman just has a solid game from everybody. Yeah, it's, it's what you look for. The, yeah. Those are the numbers you want all your team members to score. Um, gets bailed out by Clyde Edwards-Alaire catching all those freaking passes. <laughs> Yeah, um, his lowest score was uh, his kicker, which that's how it should be, uh, or defense. But, yeah, I got pretty much 10 to 20 between everybody and good game for Brinkman. So the toilet seat rider now to the number one team in the land, 3-0. and um, And finally, uh, Lean likes to talk shit to Luke a lot, and um, Luke takes care of business. Air business. Twenty-one. He's got Barkley still playing. Barkley is back and cooking, um, but the Di- Giants' offense is not really. No. Um. He, yeah. Decent game. Couple big games. Obviously, Olave, AJ Brown, Stefan Diggs, Barkley. Um. Just enough to get it done. Um. Yeah. Luke. Luke's winning on and off the field. Oh, um, it's it's not fully out yet. I'm sure it'll be out soon. Um, but he is uh, proposed and he is engaged on and off the field. Luke uh, succeeded in life. So congratulations, wow. brother. Um, they were out in California Here. for vacation. So I don't congrats. know if he wants us to do all of this, but, uh, but hey, uh, no, a hey. very small viewer audience. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, Luke. Love you, man. Yep. Okay. Another one, another one, another one in. So another one bites the dust. Yep. So congratulations, Luke winning on and off the field, apparently. So um, um sure he was checking his score throughout the, uh, he didn't need to check his score because he had already won. So, um, but Yep, Luke is uh, newly engaged in uh, another uh, league wedding sometime. All right, so. uh, that takes us to one of, I mean, it's some, some people's favorite part of the show. It's the bets that matter. Zachary, it was your week last week. How did we do? Um, not good for you, Dalton. Clean sweep. Yeah. Clean sweep for the commish this week. Um, 
I had the great uh, line of I had the Texans plus three. <laughs> um, so I won that one. I had um, Green Bay plus two. So that, that was fine either way. And then I had uh, the Dolphins plus six. So I ran, I took all the pluses that, that week. So um, that was great. That's weird how that works, huh? Yeah. Um, did not cash the bonus on the Dolphins one. It did not hit the over. Oh, what was the bonus was the over. Okay. Yeah. You had to, you had to win your first bet to get to the bonus. Right. Right. Um, so I did not uh, get the bonus cause I took the over. Um, but that is the clean sweep, uh, running total. Um, great job, Kenny Galladay. You just dropped the ball. Um, but, <laughs> uh, running total for the season. Um, for weekly bets, uh, Zach, five, Dalton, one. It's early in the game. We have some season-long bets, obviously. Um, I think we can attribute those under-overs to the season-long bets, if you're good with that. There's about five um, that we disagreed on that I can go over next week. Um, obviously, you placed your bets on DraftKings. I did mine, so... Um, nope. There's a little di- I mean, we took the same on 80% of them, but obviously different opinions on a few, but I will bring those up next week. I'm not sure what happened on my Google doc, but I will bring those next week and we can recap where we're standing on those differences um, under overs. There are some really nice spreads on the matchups next week. Like, yeah. So nice. Actually so looked nice ahead. That I might. Uh, place a bunch of bets early even though i don't do that because i like to bet every day except for today because there's only four mlb games so i did not bet at all today i actually looked at all the spreads this morning so i was prepared for the bets that mattered um the spreads are really nice um in my opinion anyway okay yeah there's a first bet i'm pulling them up real fast too i'm ready for my first bet okay well i get a pick first so well it's my week yeah, so I get a pick first. I get the, the yes. two picks. All right. Are you ready? Yes, I am pulling up the app. I would like to look as we go. The Thursday night matchup Ugh. is Dolphins Bengals. I will not be watching because it is on Prime Video. However, I have Prime. Um God. these quarterbacks throw a lot of interceptions and well, I mean. Joe Burrow throws a lot of interceptions, and they they two of them throw a lot of touchdowns. You know, two us threw six touchdowns against the Ravens two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, over under four and a half total touchdowns thrown by Joe Burrow and Tua Tungavailoa. Are you in the alternate spreads? Alternate the game? No, no, I made it up. Oh. Over four and a half total passing touchdowns? Over or over under four and a half total passing touchdowns between Joe Burrow and Tua. Over the passing touchdowns. Four and a half. Hmm. I'm gonna I'll take the over. Take the over on that one. Okay. I will take the under. Oh, four and a okay. half pass. So five passing touchdowns. That's a lot, but it, might, it should actually be like three and a half, but it's okay. Uh, you think it should be three and a half with two passers? I mean, Joe Burrow's not throwing that many touchdowns. Well, I mean, four and a half's a good line. I'll take four and a half. That's fine. Easy, big guy. All I'll right. Take four and a half. I'll take the plus. Um, uh, why won't it? Here, hold on. I am looking for a very specific bet, and I know the player. I'm looking at, but where is the prop? If you can find the Commanders Cowboys game, that would be very helpful, Zach. If you can't, then uh, I'm just gonna have to move on. Um, um I where do you go? They play next week, right? They take we'll it down. Just, uh, We'll just uh, – well, it's not up yet. I think it's because the Cowboys haven't finished this game yet, mm. so they can't, like, uh, do their math on it, you know. 
Gotcha. Uh, not on DraftKings anyway. Uh, it's on BetMGM already. Apparently. Oh, there's a 7.30 in the morning game. Yeah, London, baby. Is it a London game? London. Detroit. Um, I, no, it's uh, Minnesota. Um, uh, let me find a prop on that because I feel like we need to. Minnesota, New Orleans. Okay. The uh, Vikings are uh, three point favorites on quote unquote on the road, but it's neutral. All right, this one's this one's weird. It's uh, who ca- who knows who cares. Um, I don't like doing. I've never really done a bet like this before. Um, you get to pick first, so Vikings total points only the Vikings over under twenty three and a half. Um, give me the over. Why 23 and a half? Well, that's what the line is. On is it? Graphics. Yep. Their implied total is 23? Mm-hmm. 23 and a half. Where do you see that? Um, team props. Minnesota Vikings team total points over under. 23 and a half. It is even odds across the board over under minus 110, minus 110. I don't just because I'm we're betting men, I'll take the under. I like the okay. over, but I'll take the under. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You normally just whoop my ass in all of this. Um, I think I'm going to set my own line, um, but I have to look at something real quick. There's one bet on here that is absolutely atrocious that you have to smash. What is it? How are the Cardinals one and a half point underdogs? Yep, I know. We're not betting that game. No, we're not because the answer is easy. It's yeah, it's plus one oh five. Like that is an absolute I should bet like my remaining balance on this. The, the spreads are insane. Um, we're going to get to that section of the episode in just a second. That, like, that's ridiculous. Um, One and a half point. Oh, that's so dumb. Okay. Antonio Gibson. Is this game prompt? Over, over. It's not listed on DraftKings for some reason. Oh, So I'm making up the line. Over under 46 and a half rushing yards. Oh man, what's his rushing yards for the season? Like, I'm not gonna just blindly do this. All right, I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look. I, I'm, I've got to pull up. That's the reason why I came up with the line. Um, so his for week one, it was 14 carries for 58 yards. Week two, it was 14 carries for 28 yards. Week three, it was 12 carries for 38 yards. Would you say 40 what? 46 and a half. 46 and a half. They're playing Dallas. Same playing Dallas, right? Uh-huh. I know which way I would like to lean already, but it is your choice first. I'll go, I'll go the under. Perfect. I don't know if you remember Thanksgiving last year. Did he go off last but year for Thanksgiving? He went off. Yeah, it's okay. They're a different team. So I mean, I, bl- I mean, this week. That's fine. I don't care. Our bets for this week are he's a different player. Dolphins, Bengals, total passing touchdowns, specifically by Tua and Joe Burrow, over under four and a half. Oh, so I don't get any trick plays. No, it, that's no, some it was, bull. I thought it was by. I, the I game. stated it specifically. I okay. said Joe Burrow plus two a. Okay. Four and that's a half. Right. So, so I okay. stated it specifically because what? trick plays. Okay, what if one of them gets knocked out of the game? How about quarterback pass touchdowns? Mm-mm. Quar- to Joe Burrow. Wait, so if uh, Joe Burrow goes out, I don't get backup quarterback. That that's not a fair bet. Why not? That's passing well, touchdowns by quarterback. Listened. Quarterback passing touchdowns. 
Nope. It was passing touchdowns by Tua and Joe Burrow. Fine. I'll whoop your ass. That's fine. Uh, Vikings over under 23 and a half uh, total points as a team. I have the over. Zach has the under. Antonio Gibson over under 46 and a half rushing yards. I have the over. Zach has the under. And finally, as the last segment, as we've taken a million years to record this podcast, it is time for the spread lock Cardinals. of the week. Cardinals. You want the Cardinals? <laughs> I want the Cardinals. Cardinals plus one and a half. And a half. Give me the Rams plus two. Okay. If you can't All pick right. the same one, no, I got it. I want you the know, Rams plus two. Rams plus two. So extra points for lock of the week. Um, sure. Yeah, I'm good with adding it to our points total. Um, another super easy one is um you you had to read that that Cardinal one. That's super easy to smash, right? Like I mean yes, you have to. It's gonna be it's gonna change by the time Sunday happens. Another easy smash is Minnesota minus two and a half. Two and a half and now. I have three still. On are, you on, are you on MGM? Uh, I'm just looking at ESPN. Oh, okay. I'm looking at DraftKings. Minnesota minus two and a half is an easy smash. I think minus Kansas. three now. Um, I also like. There was another one in here. I also I like Falcons play. plus one and a half. I like Chargers minus five after the stinker they put up. And this is one I actually like too. Um, Jaguars Vegas plus six. Minus two. Kansas City minus two and a half. That's an easy smash in September. Jacksonville oh, no, plus that, six that and a half. Over. I like that too. Um, this one's a weird one. The Lions are five and a half point favorites. Against Seattle. Yeah, that's a weird one. That's that's a game we probably should have added to the uh, the bets that matter because who fucking knows? Yeah, I don't know. It's plus 205 for the Seahawks. <laughs> hey, did you know that we went two weeks without an explicit episode? I'm pretty sure we did, but... Uh, did you also know that the Cowboys are somehow finding a way to survive without Dak Prescott? Somehow. Um, now find a way. Uh, we have all our bets written down, correct? Yes, and now we just need to preview next preview week. week. Okay, we previewed the the real IRL games. Let's preview the matchups. I always do this. I always close down the window prior to the preview. I'll start with mine. I get one hit wonders, and the two and one drew. Um, we're both two and one. Early projections have Drew in the advantage. Um, we have a two and one, no, one and two lean. Or so one and two. The mic a little bit. Sorry, I'm reading my thing. Uh, we have a one and two lean versus a one and two Heath. Early projections have Heath in the lead there, but yep. um, uh, lean has some injury concerns. Um. Dark Horse um, and Blaster, two one and one and two teams going at it. Early projections have Dark Horse. Um, Sackett and Cole. So we have 0 and 3 versus 3 and 0. Can Cole put the nail in the two time champs coffin? Coffin. Uh, Sackett um, is projected to win. Sackett is projected to win. I will not count him out until I see him not in the playoffs. We got the uh, the major Bengal stack in there. Of course, he's not going to sit those guys. Why would he? Um, my app just closed out. Dalton, what's your matchup? I play your brother, Luke Ooh. Stewart, who <laughs> is on a hot streak, and Eater. every year this is a tantalizing matchup. Um. I will be stinking and teaking until the last day. Odds are. Are you playing Carson Wentz? Uh, against Dallas, yeah. And the final matchup, we have the uh, 3-0. and What? It's a seven-point game in uh, Giants. Flipped away. Cowboys. Anyway, last game. And the final game is the 3-0, the Brinko 4. 
and the 0 and 3. 0 and 3, Patrick. So we have two matchups 3 and 0 that versus 0 and 3. I could put the nail in multiple Dude. coffins. That would be crazy if two champs started 0 and 4. Yeah, be wild. Um, early projections have Brink pulling out the win. No, no surprise there. Um, the better teams are favored at this point. I um, do like that our division splits have made it um, extremely challenging so mm-hmm. far. Our our realignment has made it so challenging. And our Patrick and look at all this. of our champions have a loss. Every champ has a loss on their record, at least one. Mm-hmm. It's crazy how like Luke's continuing where he left off last year. He's on a mission. So basically, um, next week we're going to be heavily tracking the Pat and Sackett games, and if either one of them lose, then we're going to be spending the rest of the year on this podcast talking about uh, their stories and where they end up at the end of the year, and that's yeah. exciting. We need to send this over to Sackett. He wants to jump on the podcast too um, um, next week because yeah. next next week is the decider. So determines. The I'm actually shocked he wasn't on this week based on uh, his interest. Yeah, I just, it's been a busy day and I forgot to get a hold of him for the, the time. Um, I'm going to just tell him every Monday at 7.45. Yep. If you're interested. Every Monday at 7.45, if you want to be a guest on the podcast, by all means. Um, sure. <laughs> Congratulations, Dalton. You get off the schneid. So Yes, that is a good feeling. It, yep. it is a good feeling. Especially two when touchdowns. You get... That's all it took. Two touchdowns on Monday night. Two touchdowns on Monday night. Two tutties. And with that. We'll see you guys next week. This is the end of the podcast. <laughs>